All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the problem nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10. And for this problem, I actually have four option choices. So for A, I have 27 to the power of 30. For B, I have nine to the power of 30. For C, I have 27 to the power of 10. And for D, I have three to the power of 21. So to first start out, let's go through all these option choices and see if they're right or not. So we first have a 27 to the power of 30. And how this likely was resulted in was from adding all the bases and adding all the exponents. So we have nine plus nine plus nine to the power of 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is equal to 27 to the power of 30. And this is actually wrong because this is not the proper way to add exponents. So now going from here, this was likely gotten nine to the power of 30 by keeping the base the same and then adding the exponents. And this again is wrong because this is not the right way to add exponents. Now we have 27 to the power of 10. And this was gone from adding the bases, but keeping the exponent the same. And this again is wrong as well. That's not how you add exponents. Now three to the power of 21, which is by process of elimination, the right answer, we're going to see how they got this. So we first start with nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10. And I'm going to factor out nine to the power of 10. So I get nine to the power of 10 times one plus one plus one, which is equal to nine to the power of 10 times three. And now this is equal to three squared to the power of 10 times three. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So three to the power of two to the power of 10 is gonna equal three to the power of 20. And I have this times three to the power of one. So I simply just add the exponents. This is equal to three to the power of 21. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe leave a like and share this to any of your friends or family members. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation 16 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of two. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the power of one over two x on both sides. So I get 16 to the power of x to the power of one over two x is equal to x to the power of two to the power of one over two x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So we can use this property for both of these terms. 16 to the power of x to the power of one over two x is equal to 16 to the power of x times one over two x and x to the power of two to the power of one over two x is equal to x to the power of two times one over two x. Now, the x and x cancel out on my left-hand side because they multiply out. So I'm left with 16 to the power of one half on my left-hand side. And for my right-hand side, the twos cancel out. So I'm left with x to the power of one over x. Now, my goal is to turn the left side to be in the form some number to the power of one over that number. So we can make that number our solution. Well, right now, this means that 16 and two have to turn into the same number. So we need to rearrange this so that 16 and two are the same number. So to do that, Sixteen is the same thing as four squared. So I'm going to rewrite it as four squared. 
So I have 4 squared to the power of 1 half is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And now remember, these two multiply. 2 times 1 half is just 1. So I'm left with 4 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now, 4 is the same thing as negative 2 squared. And 2, our exponent here, I can rewrite as 1 over negative 1 half. And I have this times negative 1. So I have 1 over negative 1 half times negative 1. And remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So this negative 1, I'm going to move to be an exponent of negative 2. So I get negative 2 to the power of negative 1 to the power of 1 over negative 1 half is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And negative 2 to the power of negative 1 is 1 over negative 2. So my solution here is negative 1 half.